Next up, under bitrate settings, we have bitrate encoding. Based on the preset I've used, the bitrate encoding is set to VBR one pass. So VBR standing for variable bitrate. When optimizing your output, things to consider are that a video with a lot of action and detail would look better if it's encoded at a higher bitrate. But the problem is that the higher bitrate equals longer processing and larger file sizes. On the other hand, a video with not much action where each frame doesn't change all that much uh, can still look great at a lower bitrate, resulting in shorter processing times and smaller file sizes. For video containing fast action and lots of detail, we may want to select CBR or constant bitrate and then increase the target bitrate value. And for a video with not too much action, such as a talking head video, we'll probably want to reduce the target bitrate value, as a high bitrate value would be wasted on this. However, if your video contains both fast action in some scenes and other scenes that are slower paced, then you wouldn't really want a constant bitrate. A lower bitrate would look terrible for the fast paced scenes, and a higher bitrate would be wasted on those slower paced scenes. So this is where you may want to choose VBR or variable bitrate. This way, the software will automatically adjust the bitrate depending on the scene. So selecting VBR is a great way to optimize your final output, and we can choose one pass or two passes. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, you may be interested in watching my free video mini course where you can learn the best settings and presets in Premiere Pro when rendering your videos. Optimizing your settings and resulting in the highest possible quality video while keeping the video file size as small as possible. You can access this free video mini course at the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.